Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Today's episode of The Topping Show is proudly sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added reseller and services company with a special proficiency IT security. Heck, I see their founder at least twice a day because he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, you see, that's the joke. If you're an IT leader or a business owner, you can reach out to the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Also, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button and tell your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, going over to the business part of the podcast, you have Toyota and BMW teaming up for hydrogen cell vehicles, a concept that's being reevaluated yet again. It's been how many decades? Incidentally, we do have some props to the show today. One of my favorite books I've read through the past couple of years is Driven, which is actually by David Kelly in his book that's really called Inside BMW, the most admired company in the world. I would say it's false advertising, I'd say they're one of the most admired, not perhaps the. But this book is written around 20 years ago, give or take. And at the end of the book, they talk about the future of BMW. And at the time, one of the most you know, innovative things they're talking about is hydrogen cars. And again, they made successful prototypes back then. It's been a thing for, again, 20 plus years. Toyota even has a couple of their racing cars with the hydrogen cell technology to this day. Now, the big issue, the key seal of the whole idea of adopting hydrogen is the actual manufacturing and the distribution of the actual fuel. It's prohibitively expensive, it's conical. That's why in Nikola, te- Nikola Motors, that's why this stock, I was gonna say, blew up like a hydrogen bomb, perhaps poor pun, but everyone thought the Nikola company was so innovative because they claimed to have a secret sauce, a secret process to make that very, very affordable. Turns out it was vaporware, and that was why the company, you know, the founder was ousted, it was all fraud. But it looks like Toyota and BMW are going to try to team up. Now, this is actually coming an article by Andrew J. Or Hawkins, actually, over at The Verge. And hopefully, I actually see some of the cool vehicles there. They say, quote, Toyota and BMW are joining forces to push through the hydrogen fuel cell headwinds. Hydrogen fuel remains a serious challenge, but the two automakers think they can overcome those obstacles together. Which, I mean, Toyota is the largest, most successful car company in the world, especially by volume of units sold. And BMW has some innovative folks over there, but let's see. Yeah, a couple of gentlemen there standing in front of the little vehicles. Now, they say, quote, Toyota and BMW are updating their partnership in hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, signing a new memorandum of understanding to accelerate the development of next generation zero emission vehicles. BMW will launch its first hydrogen powered model in 2028. So, a couple of years out. Now, again, great. Where are you going to refuel that? That's where, again, I'm not a fan of EVs. I only drive vehicles that have three pedals, also known as a manual transmission. But that's where EVs are getting better in terms of the distribution of all those charging stations, where that hesitation is being decreased or removed from some potential buyers of EVs because there's more and more charging stations. And that took years and a big upfront gamble to invest with Tesla. Grant is paying off for them. Now they say, quote, hydrogen is the most abundant element to the universe, but automakers have struggled to market fuel cell vehicles to the public. A severe lack of fueling infrastructure outside of California in the U.S. has prevented hydrogen from becoming a popular and prevalent as battery EV cars. They have sales, wow, sales have essentially collapsed. Only 322 fuel cell vehicles were sold in the U.S. in the first half of 2024, 82% lower than a year ago. Which actually does sound kind of high in terms of, I, mean, I don't know anyone who's gotten a, few, a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Yeah, 322 people bought them in the first half of 2024. I mean, heard about car companies struggling, but that is abysmal sales figures. Now they say, quote, Toyota and BMW think they can overcome these challenges together. The upgraded partnership aims to standardize components and bring down the cost of hydrogen fuel vehicle, cell vehicles by developing their own shared powertrain. That, that would bring down the cost of that component. Yes, that is very true. But again, how you manufacture the fuel and distribute it cheaply. Maybe we'll be a uh, maybe maybe we'll be uh, really surprised. Maybe, but no. Oh, let's see here. Now they continue, continue to say that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, apologies, a little technical issues here. Never be too upset though when there are issues when it comes to technology, because as I always say.
was it for tech issues? Uh, hmm. Oh, should be working. Apologize for that. Now they say BMW says a series production model will be existing lineup, and then I'm just going to swap out some powertrain vehicle or components for it. Now some development of heavy duty vehicles and mobile power generators. And we need to further transition from gas powered vehicles to meet their climate goals. So it'll be interesting to see how that develops, if it's actually going to go to the forefront or how it's going to really pan out in terms of mass adoption. But let's just say uh, I've won and uh, a little bit skeptical, but let me know in the comments is, I mean, would you ever adopt a fuel cell, I mean, a hydrogen vehicle? And what do you think is going to be the main bottleneck of the adoption technology in addition to the, you know, of course, cost? Let me know in the comments, because as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.